dad. There went dad. Story for you. Toastmaster, Madam Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters and guests. It all started in the mortuary. My sisters Dina and I, my sisters Mari and Dina and I were standing over the, my dad's coffin in the viewing room, making sure everything was perfect for when my mom arrived. Standing there, looking at dad, something didn't look right. Was it his hair? What hair? Was it his suit? I don't know, I'm not seeing Dad in his suit. Was it his makeup? I had not seen him in that before either. <laughs> I decided that what was wrong is he just looked too plain. He needed something, something in his hands. My sister Dina grabbed a lily. No, nah, too cliche, too cliche, was not gonna work. Needed something a little classier. Mr. Mari grabbed robes, much classier. And she decided that he should be grasping it in his hands. She started tugging at her <clears throat> hands, gently at first, gently, nothing. She tugged harder. Nothing. She pulled harder. Crack! His hands came apart. <laughs> what do we do now? What do we do now? Who knew they glued hands together? <laughs> My sister tries to put the hands back together. So she's standing there, pressing the hands. And as she's pressing the hands, there went Dad. There went Dad. He moved every time she pressed his hands. She just kept pressing them down. They wouldn't go down. Next thing we look over, there's Mom watching it all. The next thing my mom had told us about this beautiful urn that she had picked out from my dad's ashes. Beautiful silver urn, very classy perfect fit for my dad. My sister Dina comes walking out of the mortuary. Carrying the urn and my dad. And yes, it was not a perfect fit at all. My dad was overflowing in a plastic bag with a little top on, on it that looked like a Prussian pickle hog. You know, the helmet with the spike on top. Now, we had to drive on the 101 freeway. How do you hold something like this while you're driving? Sure as heck wasn't gonna place it between my legs. No way. So we decided we're just gonna place it on the back seat. First on ramp. Can you guess what happens? It tips over. The bag breaks. There's Dad. He went everywhere. Panic mode started right then. Roll up the window. Don't let him out. Don't let him out. Please, don't inhale. Don't inhale. Baby, don't inhale. How in the heck are we going to get him up? The hand back. There's a hand back. Use the hand back. We'll get him up that way. So we scrambled like crazy to get Mo Dad gathered back up and in his bag. He was scheduled for a burial at sea and to be scattered having his ashes there, not in a car. By the time we got to the Ventura Marina, we had finally picked out most of the pennies and gum wrap 
diapers and cereal that was in there with him. <laughs> now, it was a beautiful day for a burial at sea. We head out on the boat. The captain is very gracious with my mom. <coughs> Tells her how to lean gently over the edge of the boat, waiting for the wave to come up and the boat to dip down. The perfect moment to dump the ashes. Time had arrived. The crew was standing there, all very proper. The flowers were tossed onto the gentle waves. My mom leaned over. She had dad's ashes, mostly dad's ashes. <laughs> <laughs> and she bent over. The wave went down, the boat went up, the gust of wind came this way, and we were covered. My mom turns around. <coughs> buttering dead ashes. And as we clink my, my dad off of my mom, I looked over and watched the crew use hoses to wash dad off the deck. And there went dad. Madam Toastmaster. <laughs>